We are the Toucher and Rich Show, and we are presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more with FanDuel. Now, it, it seems, Rich, that people are very uh, open now to take shots at the show, mm-hmm. even our own uh, people that we strive to cultivate relationships with. And you, uh, I think I know what you're talking about, but you brought it up. Uh, someone is, is calling us liars. Yes, so let's set this up. So last week, we had a Zoom this past Monday. It was a week from uh, today. And it was mandatory that all of the on-air people from all over the uh, corporate, like the whole company, all over the country, had to log on to this and watch some seminar about, like, social media or something like that. And uh, 161 people logged on. And it started at 11 a.m. We're all sitting and watching it. And at 11.20, there was um, a little thing that popped up that Joe Murray had just joined. So then all of a sudden a little hand signal came up and it looked like he was raising his hand to ask a question in the most zoom like way. And the moderator who had gone after panel and after panel after panel and had given us 20 minutes straight of information said, yes, Joe Murray, you have a question. And to that, Joe Murray said something along the lines of, Hey, listen, I just showed up. Uh, uh, Is there any way you could recap what you guys have just talked about for the last 20 minutes? And to that, the uh, moderator said, uh, no, Joe, we are going to be moving on. We would not keep everyone waiting who was here. But if you want to see the video, we'll send it to you later on. I mean, I don't know what Joe Murray was trying to do there to make us all have to sit for another 20 minutes while it was recapped, but it was pretty funny. I told that story. And then this happens Friday night, okay? Once again, this was a company-wide Zoom. And here is Joe Murray. I think you have it in Vox Pro, friend. All right, here we go. Again, another member of the staff having issue with us. Another bankroll boy for that matter. I don't know what it is about them gamblers. <laughs> Benoit? Is that your name or is it Benoit? Hey, yeah, no. yeah, it's Benoit. I have owned a ball company. You might be familiar with me. Benoit? Is that your name or is it Benoit? Hey, yeah, no, it's Benoit. Right. Hey guys, Joe, Kendra, love you guys. I uh, appreciate you taking a call. I missed the last hour of the show. Want to uh, recap it for me real quick? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Our listeners are pretty fantastic. I'm guessing, motivated. His, I'm <laughs> guessing his name's not Benoit, too. That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> you said it's very dark where I am right now. Uh, <laughs> Hatch. That really, really made me laugh. <laughs> that turned to his fans are the best. <laughs> they really are. Yeah, so so I guess Toucher and Rich are bringing up something that happened at a corporate meeting on the air. Oh, inferring that that's uh, uh, no, out no. of bounds. Yeah. Inferring that uh, maybe this is grounds for some sort of penalty from the company. And I guess the way that they presented the story is wrong. So now everyone thinks that I interrupted a meeting, which I didn't do. And now people are calling in being like, hey, Joe, I missed the beginning of the show. Can you recap it? All right. But, Rich, that, not only is it not <laughs> our fault that people are interrupting his show, but you never claimed that he interrupted the meeting. No, he raised his hand. It was like he raised his hand. He was called on. I, I've heard the story. Now, I didn't see it because I was uh, – that was the one part I didn't pay attention to. <laughs> but the uh, – but you have never claimed he interrupted. No. You have always, always claimed that he put a little hand up thing and he was called on. I am defending you and yep. I'm defending you, your mm-hmm. account of it, in that you never claimed he interrupted yep, the meeting. Yep. So that's a little bit of uh, – What's the term when you when you you, you start saying a bunch of nuances stuff? or oh, no? Uh, there's some political. Thing. All right. Well, people gaslight. are calling gaslight. in, being like, "Hey, Joe, I missed the beginning of the show. Can you recap it?" That's not what happened. And I, I I don't think we should be talking about stuff that happens in corporate meetings on the air. So now I have to now it bleeds into my show, and I just don't want that. So that's it. That's it. That's fair, all fair we're enough. Say. Okay. That's not what happened. All right. So, John, I know that you said that you had to use the bathroom, and, and Fred did as well, which is wildly unfortunate. But the, pro- the the actual fact of the matter is 161 minus two other people did see it, including Dan O'Brien. Dan, did it happen very similar to the way that I described it? The way you described it, yes. The There is no interruption when you join the meeting because <laughs> I will admit at one point, because I was not in a stationary position, my signal cut out. I had to call back in and rejoin. I quietly came back into the group. I didn't raise my hand because I did not have a question. I'm not that dumb. Mm-hmm. But no, 
you join the meeting, but then when you put up that little digital hand, a little high five thing goes up saying, I have a question. It alerts everybody that's on there that you have a question. And, and, what, is but, he lost and, and his you, mind about, like, you shouldn't and, talk about what happened at the, the corporate meeting on the air? To talk about? I just went down like, the hall and I spoke with one of the uh, program directors. I was like, hey, were you on that Zoom meeting? He goes, oh, the one that Joe... I was like, yeah. <laughs> really? I said, I said, all right. He went on the air saying that, uh, that that didn't happen. And he just looked at me and started laughing. And he goes... Oh, yeah, I did. And he goes, hang on, is the video not out there yet? I'm like, no, no, we don't have the video. But well, what is Joe crazy? There's 158 people who saw it. They're saying he didn't do that? The part that I think is interesting is that, like, you shouldn't talk about what happened at a corporate meeting as if it's, like, you know, a mediation, like a, like some, like, <laughs> law. away corporate secrets. Like, like no, yeah, Joe. Like, like, Joe, like, what are you talking about? Like, you don't like that occasionally people go in and bust your balls <laughs> is what you don't like. Like it's not gonna. It's like, and the more you complain about it, the worse it's gonna get. All right, so here's what's gonna. If you learn nothing from Sarge, okay. So so uh, well, here's what I want you to do, Nick. Uh, this morning, uh, whenever you have a chance, I want you to ask Ayla. I want you to ask Jackson. I want you to ask Bob. I want you to wa- ask Lauren. I want you to ask Ramiro and Melissa, the whole crew, and I want you to see, ask them whether or not that happened. And then I want to play a montage, and I want to give it to Joe. If he really wants to call us out as liars. That's a, you are thinking everybody was on that meeting. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're assuming there were a lot of eyes on that. There, there were two meetings. They people. might have split it. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Bob, I know Bob was on it. Bob was on it. I believe Leroy was on it. We could ask him as yeah. well. I mean, there was. Bob like, was Bob, Bob was, was seen, definitely Bob on Bob was in What, what yes. are you doing? You, you were calling us liars that there was something. I know there were Melissa. Over 150 I saw witnesses Melissa. Too. Melissa but, had a question. She was on. But he's also yeah. like kind of like like a narc. Like I don't think they should have talked about what's in a corporate meeting. And just real quick, did. Not everybody think when we were first on that meeting, this is the meeting perfect for Joe because Joe's got a guy for everything. <laughs> well, that was what was and so was funny the whole about it. Topic of the meeting was the got a guy well, part. That was that was so. <laughs> Thank you, that, yes. That's why. Well, I mentioned it True. when Rich first brought it up. Is I yeah. thought that was what's so funny about it. And by the way, I couldn't have praised Joe more during the last time we talked about it. Is that I love it. But yeah, but Joe, you know, Joe was in a panic and was like, <laughs> like, like, this is all information I need. Like, like he came in and it's like, I know this meeting's for me. So could you start over? Like uh, my effusive praise for Joe, I don't appreciate him going, you shouldn't talk about what happened in corporate meetings as if like, you know, like that we should be somehow punished, like that we violated some sort of uh, like right to privacy. I mean, this isn't a... Uh, a, a assault trial or something. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ, a, Joe. It was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a meeting on payola. No one's insinuating that you do payola. <laughs> no. No. It's all very on the level. But <laughs> but you do have a lot of, I mean, the, every, the confluence of events made it very funny. All right. There's a little bit more. All right. Now it's not playing. Okay. Now. We'll move on. But, yeah, that, 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 I guess that's what happened. That's what happened. Which I I did ask a question in a Zoom meeting. If you want to fault me for that, I I did. But you know I, I would I'm, fault you for that. Actually, yeah, shut up. Yeah, We're all trying you, to get out of there, yeah, Joe. Yeah, shut up in the Zoom meetings. Maybe <laughs> new here. Like I'm new, I'm new to this. I have to ask questions. All right, Joe. Well, you got your job in part because of us. So let's <laughs> relax a little bit. On and you're not new here. You were on for a long time. And this show in our in our in our wanting because of your talent to have you be a fill in is a big reason you have the gig. <laughs> so let's not, let's relax a little bit on like going the corporate route with us, trying to get, cause that's trying to get us in trouble, which is not cool. You know, it's one thing like, you know, make fun of us all you want and we might make fun of you back, but let's, let's stop with the corporate thing and the high and mightiness because I mean, we've been pretty good to you and you were good to us. Oh. I mean, you're good on the air. I mean, you're good on the air. That's why you did it and that's why we had John. It was just that you if you're going to call us liars. No, no. I just thought it was hysterical no, the that there corporate was 150 part, witnesses. The, that... the corporate part as if we can't talk about like his him, him interrupting a corporate meeting. Like, come on, Joe. I don't think they should have talked about it. Now it's bleeding into my show. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> the president. All right, very good. Well, I love Joe, and I like his show a I lot. And I talk about how I listen to it. I don't know why no one focuses on the positive. Everyone's become like me and just picks out the few, the, the little negative so things. So you hate Joe? Yeah, exactly. I do not hate Joe. I like Joe personally, and Joe is someone that I have done things with, not just me and him. You guys were probably there, too. Yeah. But I like Joe a lot. He was, at a, I was, he was a big proponent of Joe. I'm, when, I was a proponent of him getting the night job. When we have the the show Christmas party, is Joe Murray there or not? Always. We always invite him. 
Yeah. There you go. That's a rich thing. I, I don't, I'm not that thoughtful. Oh, wait, wait, maybe you I'm not that thoughtful. I, I wouldn't know who to <laughs> invite. You, you, don't invite in, I you don't want me in charge of inviting anyone to anything. I wouldn't be thoughtful enough. I'd assume I was bothering them is what always my assumption is.